Hi guys, welcome to the Matahas channel. If it is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you'll enjoy your stay here and become part of our beautiful family by clicking that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that when we upload a video next time, you can get a notification. And Terry Tanisa, peace my life. Thank you so, so much guys for coming back and thank you so, so much for choosing to be part of our beautiful family. And to those who subscribed to our channel recently, thank you so, so much guys guys for supporting us in this channel for helping us to grow this channel and please 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 watch this video till the end and don't forget to like this video and i hope that you'll enjoy what i'm about to share with you guys today in the sit down video so without wasting any time guys let's just get right into today's business so in today's video guys as you can see i am going to reflect on my 2023 guys and share with you guys what you know really happened in my life in 2023 how was my 2023 and today again guys as you can see i'm not with my husband i told you guys in our previous vlog that i'll be on leave this week so i'm trying to use this opportunity or this time that i have while i'm on leave to create content because you guys know that we have reached 1000 subscribers i think we are on 1300 some uh, 304 subscribers so guys we want to push watch hours so that we can be monetized remember guys that this year we have to be monetized so that's why i'm trying to push this content so that um like we can also push watch hours so guys um where do i start 2023 guys it was a lot <laughs> it was a lot guys a lot happened but i'm going to summarize so that you know i don't make this video too long where do i start okay let's start um uh, with this one so last year guys 2023 i resigned uh without plan b i resigned without plan b so let me start here so that you guys can understand what led to my resignation and so that you guys can know what where i'm coming from and where i'm going so it happened that you know what in two um 2022 like a lot was happening where i was working to an extent that you know what i was no longer enjoying what i was doing and i'm not gonna mention the names of the companies here guys but a lot was happening guys in that company to an extent that you know what i was no longer enjoying to work in that company and the same year 2022 i wanted to resign but my husband was like you know what you cannot just resign without you know plan b at least stay in that company push until you get something you know and deep down guys i knew that i was doing that i was just you know pushing you know continuing to work in that company but i knew that i was not happy but I said to myself that, you know what, let me just listen to him. And uh, I continued to, 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 to work in that company. <sighs> Guys, to an extent that, you know what, I was, um, the reason why I, was, I wanted to, to resign is because, like, the things that were happening, like, I was drained emotionally, like, I was drained I was tired you know and I felt like you know what for me to end this thing is to it is only by you know me resigning from this company but then my husband said that no wait until you get another job and I continued but then towards the end of 2022 I uh, there was a time um I can't remember the date but it was during the week because I know that that day uh, that morning uh, when I woke up as I was preparing myself for work 
I told my husband that you know what I just received a word from God that my time or my season in that company is about to come to an end and I know that when God tell, tells me the same thing twice or thrice, I know that God is adamant. God is just preparing me. And that morning when I woke up, it's, it's like someone just told me that, you know what, uh, your season is about to come to an end. And the understanding of the dream that I saw, like I could see that next year, I don't think I'll go back to that company. But in my mind, again, I was like, you know what, maybe God is going to bless me with another job. And when I told my husband, he was like, you know what, uh, don't be negative. Don't be negative. We will pray about it. And I was like, okay, it's fine. Because I didn't want it to look like, you know what, maybe I'm trying to push my agenda or I don't want to work. I'm, I just want to be lazy, you know, or, you know, and all that because... Uh, before I received that word, I was complaining, you know, complaining to God, complaining about, you know, uh, what was happening. And guys, things were bad to an extent that, you know what, um, every morning I had to, you know, pray. I had to spend time with God. I had to ask God for strength, at least for that day, you know. That's how bad things were. <laughs> and sometimes, I, I remember there was this other day, I was laughing at myself and I was saying that, what if God is using this situation so that he can bring me closer to him, you know, and get to spend more time with him? Because that, that job was very demanding, guys, to an extent that even on weekends, I was working, even at home, I was working. So, like... Even when I was spending time with God, it was not that quality time, you know, that I am used to. Okay, fine. I continued. 2023, um, I waited for them to send me a contract. They sent me a contract because I was working as an independent contractor. I was not a permanent, you know, employee. So, um they sent me a contract for that year 2023 but when i was looking at the hours and that's when i told my husband that you know what god is just showing me here that my time is over in this company and my husband you know i think he was thinking that you know i just you know i don't i don't run away i think that's how he felt at some point because I kept on complaining like every now and then every chance that I got I was you know complaining and I think that's why I, I think that he thought or you know what this person doesn't want to like she doesn't want to work anymore and it was not like that um 2023 I signed my contract but the hours guys uh, I was not happy about the hours and uh, as an independent contractor okay let me explain this as an independent contractor you get paid for what you have you know done so um, I could see that there are months that I want you know in you know should I say enough money yeah let me just say that so for me again that was you know um, something that was demotivating me and you know i kept on you know working in that company to an extent that i felt like now i'm doing this with my own strength uh like i felt like you know what it's like god is not involved in this you know thing and i pushed january february march april and then May, the first week of May, I told my husband that, you know what, uh, I'm going to resign and I'm not going to tell even my family members because every time I told them that I want to resign, they said to me, no, you cannot resign uh, without you, you know, uh, getting another job, get another job first and then you will resign after. So at that time, I wanted to make that decision without someone influencing me uh whether to do it or not so i told my husband that you know what i have made up my mind i am going to resign and 
I will see. I will see. <laughs> and my husband, like, he was tired. He was tired and he was like, you know what? Do what makes you happy. And I said to him, please give me that computer. He gave me the laptop. I typed the resignation letter. And then I sent it to my superiors and my and the hr department so like at that time guys i told myself that you know what i am resigning and i don't want anyone to tell me you know about what's gonna happen next or to reconsider my decision and all that and then during the day i called my family members and i i i, I uh made a conference call it was my mom my sister and my brother and i told them that you know what i have resigned i am officially unemployed <laughs> so like there was nothing that they could do at that point so my sister i could you know hear like that um i could hear that she was not happy but she didn't want to say anything my brother and my mom they tried to you know encourage me and telling me that it's gonna be okay and all that and i was like you know what um this time like uh as much as you know i'm trusting god for something i don't know when is that you know when i'm gonna get another job and all that but i'm just you know trusting god and if i get a job glory to god if i don't uh, get a job it's still okay <laughs> so um i stayed at home in may and then the beginning of june i received a call from nyda and I was speaking to this lady and she was very friendly she asked me about my qualifications she asked me about um, uh, where I stay and all that and she told me that there are opportunities <clears throat> and if I'm interested <clears throat> sorry about that guys if I'm interested uh, like I can be placed in you know one of government departments if i'm interested and i said to her that you know what uh it's like you can see that i recently um recently resigned you know from the company that i was working uh for so uh even though it's not permanent because she told me that it's not permanent even though it's not permanent it's it's okay i'll take the opportunity so when i told my family members and my husband they were happy and uh, the fact that you know what I'm doing right now um, That opportunity like I get to see you know what I studied because I studied public administration So I get to be in the field, you know to practicalize what I have studied. So I started this um, the new contract uh, I think it was on the 3rd of July yeah so the end of june i went to sign the contract there was no interview so i was placed uh and then where i'm working guys i was placed where i'm working right now so even though the money when i compare this side and this side like this side guys the money is not um uh, money ring like you know um this previous one but then you you know what I told myself that you know what let me take this opportunity, uh, you know, like as a as a break you know from everything that has been happening, and let me take this opportunity to also have experience of what I have studied. Oh guys, a lot happened. <laughs> along the way in 2023 there was a lot of confusion you know asking myself for you know what god what is it that you're doing you know in my life but only to realize that you know all these things that were happening they were leading to you know uh my season of isolation you know because that's what i perceived uh as things unfolded 
that you know what in fact god was trying to take me out from you know this noisy environment not literally but i hope that you get what i'm saying and this busy schedule because as i told you guys that the job that i had it was very demanding and you know uh i i could perceive that you know what god wanted to take me out of you know that busy schedule you know busy you know and noisy environment so that you know God can reveal some of the things like my purpose, you know, uh, the call of God upon my life, you know, and because those things, God made them clear to me during that season of isolation because I was not that busy, you know, as I was when I was working in that company. So there was a lot of confusion, but, you know, as things were unfolding, God, you know, uh, made me to understand some of the things made me to you know uh experience him in another dimension i can you know say that because uh you know there was a time where i felt like you know what um i remember there was you know the time that i was you know meditating and looking at what god is doing and uh you know i i i I even remember the scripture where where Peter was walking on the water and the Bible says that when he was about to drown or when he was about to fall I'm just paraphrasing then Jesus held him Jesus saved him the Bible says that immediately when he was about to fall or when he was about to drown Jesus held him you know so that uh he doesn't drown jesus saved him so that's how i i i i feel you know i feel like i was in that position whereby like i was confused i i didn't know what was happening i didn't know how to you know react to the things that were happening in my life but god saved me you know god saved me and you know um and there was a time that you know i felt like you know what even though things do not make sense right now but let me just trust god let me just trust god and you know uh believe that you know everything that is happening it is because god has allowed them to happen so that god can glorify himself you know through whatever that is happening in my life so um yeah last year i resigned without plan b i you know i was in a season of isolation i continued with you know my journey in 2023 by journey of life trusting god you know even when i didn't understand and i can say that you know for me 2023 it was a year that God really wanted to show me that he's in control and God really showed me that he's a provider. God showed me that he is my master. You know, sometimes guys, we, we want God to be God when we, we want him to be God. <laughs> I don't know if I make sense. Yeah, we want God to be God in a way that we want him to be God. We don't want him to be God you know the way he wants to be god i hope i make sense but to me it makes sense <laughs> so like um like as we usually like say guys when you know we worship god that god you are god when things are well and things are not well like sometimes you'll have to experience that because sometimes we say things because we are in our comfortable spaces or comfortable yeah comfort zone you know and yeah sometimes we say things because we are comfortable at that time but when we have to now prove you know what we are saying it becomes something that is totally different so um that is a summary of my 2023 and in terms of you know like um there are people that came you know into my life for a specific season 
the people that God brought in my life, amazing souls that God brought into my life. And I, I believe that, you know, as, as I said, guys, that, you know, as things were unfolding, I got to understand, you know, some of the things, you know. And at some point, I felt like, you know, the things that were happening, God really wanted to show me, you know, even the people that I can walk with, you know, in this journey, you know, of my life. And like God, you know, I used so many people, touched so many people to be there, you know, for me uh, during that season. And you know what? I bless God for them, those people. I bless God for them. And I can say in summary that my 2023 was a lot and it started as you know should i say a rookie year but it ended on a good note it ended on a good note a lot of good and bad things happened and the bad things i i i, I don't want to say they were bad because i feel like it was for a good reason you know for everything to happen in my life last year so that you know um good things again can be you know birth in my life you know and yeah guys sometimes we experience you know um pain before we you know experience joy so i will say it's something like that sorry about that about that guys i had to answer a call because i'm using my phone to record so yeah i was just concluding on you know the video and as i was saying guys that sometimes yes we experience pain so that we can experience joy later and yeah guys in summary my 2023 was you know um it was somehow a year of uh lessons and i feel like god was also doing a reset in my life you know preparing me for the season that i was that i'm about to enter into and so yeah guys i hope that you enjoyed this mini chat chit chat with you guys and uh please if you are here for the first time please hit that subscribe button help us to grow in this channel by clicking the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that when we upload next time you can get a notification and thank you so so much guys for watching till this far if you have watched till this far and don't forget to also like this video and i'll see you guys in our next upload so bye for now Mwah.